Get ready for the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. All right, it's time for the Voodoo Chef Podcast, where we will discuss all things voodoo from the Voodoo Studios located right here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. So to all my booties out there, if you're looking for nothing but a good time, this is the place to be. Call your friends, knock on the neighbor's door, and let them know it's time to party like a rock star for the next hour. Join me and my guests and learn to voodoo like we do as we discuss our faves and the voodoo that we use. I'll put our guests on the spot as we ask for their top three and make sure and listen as we discuss some of our favorite war stories from the kitchens we've worked in. Sit back, grab a tall glass of your favorite libation, and enjoy this episode of the Voodoo Chef Podcast. What's going on, booties? Another podcast and as you can tell big eddie c i don't know what's going on i don't know if it's covid or it's not COVID. uh eddie c's working nights you know he's educating the youth of america and uh but that's all right we got lex filling in what's going on alexis how's life it's going same old same old working hard that's all we do right just just grinding every day we love the fact that we get to have uh voodoo chef sous chef sitting in here when big eddie c's out uh Except you got to be the keeper of pointless pop culture trivia tonight. Are you ready? Are you down for the task? I'm ready. <laughs> you got to get Eddie C's Gator Paul and all that other stuff he uses. But uh, as always, before we start, we got to give some updates here. Uh, you know, our canned food drive is ending. It ended yesterday. We want to thank everybody that uh, helped out and, you know, came out, supported, and uh, showed some love by bringing those canned food food items. And, uh all those people that did a little walkthrough down in Moore Law Offices, just a, such a great place. They make you feel right at home. And if you're ever looking and you ever need anything, make sure you hit up Eric Moore for all your needs. He is, uh, he's a class act. I've known him for 10 plus years and, uh, you know, he does my stuff. Why not let him do yours? Um, also, uh, golf tournament right around the corner. What's really scary, it's, it's a couple months away. We are almost sold out. I need you to log on and book those teams like right away. Uh, this year's golf tournament, we got to give some big shout outs to Amer first. Um, rocking it out, our friends uh, Dave and Linda Thomas out there at Amer first, just really coming through and help us put this together. Uh, you know, we got a Leslie Bakeries. Leslie Bakeries, what's going on, Lex? How's it going out there? It's going good. Pretty busy. Got to come and get your Cubans. <laughs> Gotta get them. You know, that's my favorite. My, the hand pulled Cuban Adelesi is my favorite. You know, we came down, we did some videos, and we haven't aired that yet, but uh, you got to get the hand pulled, though. The hand pulled Cuban is just like, it's my the jam. Hand carved. Hand carved. Hand carved. You know, I was pulling pork today. That's why I confused it. Uh, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, we did a, did a couple butts up today at school, and, uh, you know, then we had taco night here. Did you see the tacos we posted? I did almost went over to get tacos. Ah, uh, you come over anytime, you know that. <laughs> but uh, tacos were pretty solid today, and now we're getting ready to to podcast up. But yeah, get out there, get that hand carved Cuban. Um, they just do an amazing job out there. When you walk in, make sure you ask for the hummingbird cookies. Quick heads up, they don't sell them. But if enough of us walk in there and say, "Hey, I want the hummingbird cookies," I hear they're amazing. Maybe they'll bring them back. Just say. Maybe Listen, they won't do it for me, but maybe they'll do it for you. <laughs> Golf tournament, November seventh. Log in www.voodoo chef. You know, someone told me I don't have to say that anymore. I'm old because I still say www.voodooshef.com. Voodooshef.com. Log on, uh, book your golf outing. We're still looking for sponsors, volunteers, all that other stuff. If you're interested in that, email us at foundation at voodooshef.com. And uh, we'll get that rocking and rolling. All the proceeds from the golf tournament straight to the foundation to support culinary education in the uh, state of Florida, in and around. If you live outside the state, we'll hook you up, whatever we can do. Uh, help out a little bit, Lex? That stuff helps out a little bit? A lot. It helps out a lot. You know what? You're a rock star. You deserve it. And then, uh, you know, we're going to be rocking into the new year. We, we do have a big announcement, high school recipe competition entering its fifth year, thanks to Kaiser University, um, Center for Culinary Arts, Dean Michael Mensch, 
just amazing people. And uh, that's gonna push us with the high school recipe competition. Uh, it's gonna allow us to send more people to school like Lex. So, uh, you know, I gotta tell you this, you know, I programmed some of our, our uploads and then I upload stuff throughout the week. Uh, this week, uh, I found one for you. I did it for Throwback Thursday. Guess what video I put up of you? Which one? Uh, you just simply hear me and Mike's voice in the background talking and the camera's on you the entire time. Uh, and it's all about the high school recipe challenge. We're on, we're on stage getting ready to announce the winner. And Lex thought she was just <laughs> going with me to network. I called her mom and I said, hey mom, look, she won, but don't tell her. And mom's like, okay, I won't tell her. And I said, you gotta tell her. I said, I told her she should go to the awards banquet with me. It's a great networking opportunity. I'm gonna sit at, you know, Kaiser's table. We're gonna hang out. She can rub elbows with all these people. Mom talks her into it, the whole drive there. Lex ain't got nothing to say to the old man sitting next to her. It's like crickets in the fucking car. I'm trying to make conversation and Lex is just like, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh. Okay, great, that's all fine and dandy. We get there, we walk in, doing the howdy-do, and we walk in with the big check that's got her name on it. She doesn't even have a clue. I walked it in the building. <laughs> I go, I take it, I put it on stage, and then we're sitting like front row center. And I tell one of the other chefs that's at the table, I said, look, film Lex the whole time. She has no clue she won. She's like, what? No clue. So Chef Slick is there and she's filming you and uh, we announce your winner and you're like, you weren't even fucking paying attention. That's a funny thing. You're just sitting there going, I mean, just. <laughs> and you see captions in your head like it's a fucking cartoon. Can we go the fuck home now? Why the fuck did I come here? Alexis Quinones. And you're like, hey, come on. Oh shit! No, it's pretty funny. <laughs> pretty funny. I thought it was I hope... the video of the spoon on the table, you know? Which one? The one that was supposed to be recording, but recorded the fork on the table oh, instead yeah. of me. <laughs> yeah, we have multiple multiple phones going, and of course, one of them only recorded the, the flatware, because I'm an idiot. But it was such a great night. I hope you enjoyed that night, and uh, I hope you had fun at the end of the day. Just so I you did. drive home, <laughs> crickets, same, same. I was hungry. The food wasn't wasn't the best. I was promised a burger. Never got a burger. We didn't start. Uh, it was pretty late. <laughs> pretty late. But uh, just, just a great day. And high school recipe challenge back in business. Uh, see, this is our fifth fifth year. So uh, mm -hmm. big shout out and thanks to Kaiser University Center for Culinary Arts. And that's all the people that sponsor Voodoo. Um, from, from first watch all the way down to our chefs, my man Tim Keeley and everybody else that just believes in what we do. Thank you so much. Uh, we couldn't do it without all of you. And uh, Lex, what's what's going on with you? That's all things voodoo. What's, I mean, I know you're at Alessi. Uh, beyond Alessi, is there anything or are we just like, I'm manager now, I'm Alessi? All I do is work and when I'm not working, I'm sleeping. Seriously? I don't really do much of my life. <laughs> it's all work, work, work. Yeah, at some point there's got to be play. You went to Texas recently, and yeah, you, you play a little bit. Come on. Um, I'll be 21 this Sunday. This Sunday? Yeah. So what are you doing for your 21st birthday? I'm going to Disney. Hey, what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> and and just you know, uh, so you so you're going to Disney. Um, just be safe. I will. Be safe. Be safe. Stay away from people. They got the COVID. I already don't like people that much, so I'm pretty good with staying away. That, that's why That's why you're in our industry, and that's why you're a sous chef. <laughs> you fit the mold. Um, by the way, uh, I hope you don't have plans on Halloween. Probably not. Why? Oh. We may or may not have an event. Gotcha. So, I'll uh, clear my schedule. What the, well, remind me to talk to you about uh, my boy, J.P. Peterson. Gotcha. But we got to do that off air. Got to do that offer. Big radio personality. Super cool dude. Uh, JP, you're a rock star. I love those afternoon drives. But uh, yeah, remind me to talk to you about that. It'd be a good opportunity uh, for you if you want it or not. What the fuck is this? I might have to get a hat or something because it's driving me nuts. Maybe it's just because the lights are on in the studio. I don't know. Or maybe it's because I've got... It's waving. 
Look, it's a wig. Did you know that? Look, it's a wig. <laughs> All right, let's get Carl in here. We're, you know, Carl's been in before. He's on the podcast as trivia. He was speaking in tongues a couple weeks ago because his connection sucked. But Carl's like one of our one of our buddies, and uh, Carl just throws down the voodoo every weekend. And uh, he had a special weekend last weekend. Uh, it was his birthday weekend. I think he's 72, 73, but uh, was just throwing down some mad food. What's going on, buddy? Oh, man, just, uh, just Taco Tuesday. You know, I saw, saw the video and had a great birthday weekend. A lot of good friends, a lot of great memories. I've been in Florida 21 years now, something like that, some crazy number. So you moved here when you were 51 because you yeah. turned 72, according to – you know, my, my previous there. How old did you turn? Uh, 43. Dude, you're a young buck. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're a young buck. But what's funny is uh, when you say things like, yeah, I got to watch my grandbaby. I'm like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, she's here tonight. We'll be, uh, uh, you know, it's Pappy's Place, a virtual school on Wednesdays. And so. That's awesome, man. That's really cool, Pappy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still think that's funny. Dude, what's on your hat, man? It keeps coming into view and I get excited. It looks like skull. Yep. Tijuana, Tijuana. Flats. Yeah, dude, that is that is boy my boy Milo's favorite place on Tuesday. Milo oh. loves Taco Tuesday and he gets mad when he misses. I uh I was I was a big fan when they opened up uh, Wesley Chapel. Uh was there when they opened up Trinity, was there when they opened up Land of Lakes. Um Nothing but love for the brand, and uh, and it's a it's a cool piece of merch, dude. I like the, I like the powder blue, man. And so, what's your favorite thing at Tijuana? Oh, it's gone now. It's black and chicken, uh, hard taco all the way, with uh, some Jason's mom sauce. What is Jason? Oh, that's a that's a hot sauce. Yes, 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 yes. I can't have voodoo everywhere I go. <laughs> no, no, no. I just I was like. When you said Jason's mom, I thought Stacy's mom, and I'm like, dude, what do? We <laughs> <laughs> She's got it going on. She does. That's what they say. That's what they say. Lex is like, who's Stacy? I get it. I'm not <laughs> that young. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're you're half his age, and we won't even talk about me. <laughs> so so, uh, Lex, what do you get at Tijuana? I've never eaten at Tijuana. Probably smart. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Uh, you got to go for Taco Tuesday. It's like, it's like cheap, and it's good. Well, mom makes tacos on Taco Tuesday. I wouldn't know. Can't I've make never mom been invited. Mad. Don't know. Um, I've never been yeah. invited. You're more than welcome to come. Awesome. You know the podcast is moving to record on Wednesdays, so you better be careful. You might just hear that old. <laughs> it's gonna be a fat boy at the door. You know, Carl, they took the nachos off the menu, and, you know, nachos are my jam. And I used to go there and get the nachos, and I'm – they took it off, and I'm a little disappointed. Oh, that's a travesty, because those nachos were good. So, you know what I do? I order a taco, and I order a uh, queso, because when you order a queso, you get, like, enough chips for, like, three weeks. And I just oh, go yeah. home and break it all apart and make my own nachos. I pour there the queso, go. put some pico down. Just make my own nachos. Falls out the back, and voila, you have nachos on your plate. That's it, man. That's it. Um, I wanted. Did you work for Tijuana Flats? I did. And so we man. talked about this because they make everything from scratch, and that that surprised me. Yes, yes, and so it was. Um, <laughs> and what's funny is in my new line of work, uh, enchiladas are on the menu this weekend. So, you know, go, go, bring back some flashbacks. Dude, wait a minute. So, so Carl now works at Atria Assisted Living Facility, um, you know, cooking for a special population group all day, every day, which is a challenge in itself. Uh, with COVID, I'm not even allowed in the building to visit you. Uh, okay. I came by one day and you met me out back in the parking lot. I felt like, you know, you know, we were, we were Jackie Chan and uh, Chris Tucker doing some same time fucking deals there. And, uh, you know, you got to really be careful what you cook. How are you getting away with enchiladas? Um, 
I tempered down the enchilada sauce a little bit. Um, it's one of seven options they can order. Uh, and so if they know um, that they they have, um, they don't do well with spice, or if I see an order with a resident that I know, they'll make time out, this is, this is incorrect. Then I just take care of it. Um, but we really, we go, we run the gamut today. Tonight was Asian. Uh, I got corned beef and cabbage next week. Um, we're going to have voodoo magic ribs, uh, four times next week. Um, 100%, uh, we got crab cakes second Tuesday of every month, prime rib night. So we, we run the gamut. Dude, that's amazing. Uh, tell me, about, you posted a picture of the Asian today. Tell me about that because you know that you said, uh, first time Asian or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm mostly Irish. And so it was an Irish kid doing Asians today. And it was, uh, um, Asian teriyaki pork loin with mm. uh, shallot bok choy and uh, ginger lo mein. Dude, it looked amazing. And guys, I got to tell you, I don't know if you follow Carl or not. Um, I get the shit sent to me direct. And I'll be sitting there on the weekends watching what he's cooking. And I'll text back. I'm like, dude, how many fucking people are in your house? And he just replies, it's real simple. I cook, my wife chills in the pool. That's our jobs on the weekend. Yep. <laughs> so tell us about your birthday festivities. You know, I don't, I mean, you're cooking on the weekends. I cook on Tuesday night. I mean, a lot of people, I was having this conversation with someone today. I really, really, people will come to my house and they'll, you know, they'll stop by, even my family come over for dinner and all of a sudden the pizza gets delivered and they're like, ordering pizza i'm like why did you why did you want to cook and they're like well well no i I just thought i go you thought what i wanted to come home and work some more no i want to sit and chill um oh shit we almost we almost had an earthquake here i don't know what that was we almost lost the whole table man that would that would have been bad because Guess who's back in town? I, I, I would have blamed the Jack Daniels leveling system. <laughs> He's been gone for a while. So, so Carl, you're really cooking at the home. And, and I, that's just not what I like to do. I mean, I like to come home and sit and chill. And, I mean, I'm okay just having a, a grilled cheese and a can of soup. Um, yes, that, 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 that's okay. Uh, but not but on Saturday. Not on Saturdays. Um, I met my wife, you know, through mutual friends. And the, the funny story is, is her friends wouldn't let her get in the back of my Harley. Um, oh, so I'm like, jelly. And so I'm like, okay, you don't want to go to breakfast. I'll come over and cook for you. Um, and, and literally, and I didn't have a truck then. I really <laughs> set 7-Eleven, threw a dozen eggs in a saddlebag, uh, a loaf of bread, and a pint of milk. <laughs> Um, and she didn't believe I was coming over until I pulled up at 2.15 with a Harley outside the driveway. Um, <laughs> um, and Labor Day is sort of our anniversary getting together, and it's, 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 just, it's just what I do for her. You know, it, it's, I enjoy it. I, really I think that's it. awesome, man. I think that's awesome. Uh, like, even for, even for my that? birthday, I was, said even for the birthday, I was like, what do you want to do? And I went, I just want to have some people over and I'll cook. You know, it's like, they can bring the sides, they can bring the, you know, you know, the beverages, but let's just relax and I, I'll, I'll menu plan and just call it a day. <laughs> Dude, you had so much food going. What was the highlight of it? Ooh, uh, the skillet, the smoke skillet queso um, was probably the highlight. Um, amongst my friends, the, uh, the bacon wrapped jalapenos uh, are pretty good. Um, I love jalapenos, man. Uh, what do you a, What do you do different to yours? Um, mm, I don't know. Um, bacon bits, sour cream, ranch, um, mixed cheese in it. Uh, do Do my best um, to not make them el fuego. You know, you know, quorum. Um, uh, which was a birthday gift uh, from my wife one year. <laughs> so I went to Rock and Brews. Have you heard of it? 
No, no. So, so, so I don't know if you've heard of these gentlemen, uh, Paul Stanley and, and Gene Simmons. Oh uh, yes, yes. Oh yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> so they own a restaurant called Rock and Brews. Alexis, they're from the band Kiss. <laughs> so um, they own a restaurant called Rock and Brews, and I was in Orlando, and you know I had to go. I'm a huge Mark. Um, so I go to Rock and Brews and I order the Japs, the jalapenos. So, of course, I get back to work and what do I got to do? I got to make some jalapenos now so I can have some good jalapenos. Uh, dude, we, we boiled them in vinegar, cut them, seeded them, stuffed them with cream cheese, wrapped them in bacon, and then breaded them and deep fried them, dude. And then we served them with buffalo sauce because, you know, that's my jam. Uh, you know I love buffalo sauce. You've been making the uh, the the juicy Lucy slider black the buffalo blue, right? Ah, uh, yes. I went I went a four ounce patty this weekend, so they were they're a little bigger. So I had to go home and I had to make them, man. I had to make them myself. They're pretty damn good, but like I said, I don't want to work when I get home. So that was a one time thing. But if I don't cook when I get home, my wife will never taste my cooking. <laughs> Yeah. I, <laughs> now, I don't cook during the week. Do you bring stuff home from the living facility? No, uh, are you allowed to do that? No, uh, but only if I, if, I, if I tried something for the first time. I brought some of the lo mein home and I brought some of the raw, uh, the raw lo mein home because I wasn't really satisfied with um, the execution and I wanted to play with it. Now, now I, don't, I didn't want to say anything, but I got to ask, is my boy still working there? 100%, 100%. Awesome. That makes so happy. One of our former students works down there with, uh, with Carl, and it was such a pleasure to walk in and see him there and know that he's doing so amazingly well. Oh, he does. His, uh, he really takes time, cares about presentation, um, cares about flavors, you know, and, and, and never – and he's very meticulous when it comes uh, to, to his uh, meal execution. So it's, uh, it's really a pleasure to have him on the team. Well, he's, he's lucky to have a mentor like you, brother, someone who cares and to give it back like you do. Lex, I wanted to ask, do you, do you cook uh, dinner at home? No. No? <laughs> Once in a while, maybe. Oh, you're still with mom. You got mom's cooking. Yeah, I got mom to cook. How many nights a week do you have rice and beans? Like two, three. Yeah? Yeah. Four. Five. Two, like, two, two, three times, you know. Sometimes she makes pasta. It, she makes it two, three times a week, and we have it all week because it's there. No, she doesn't make that much rice. <laughs> well, with my growing brother, you know, rice lasts not even twenty minutes because he eats a whole pot of rice by himself. Man, I like rice. I got to stay away from it though. Uh, Carl, I got to tell you my favorite Tijuana flat story. There you go. So uh, it's got to be like 2005, 2006. I could be wrong because, you know, we all know I suck with dates and times. Couldn't tell you what date it is today. Couldn't. I would probably have to ask you what month it was if we real boil, really boiled down to it. Um, I'm looking on the computers and none of my, none of my screens have the date on them today. It's so September. anyway, what is it? <laughs> September 1st. Is it really? Yeah. I have nothing that says that. I'm going to try to remember, but I won't. Um, so, so we're 2004 or five, don't know. Uh, we're doing a catering for a whole bunch of the chefs from the CIA, Culinary Institute of America. And not just chefs, I mean, mass, certified master chefs, you know, like less than 50 in the world type people. And we're cooking for these guys at a private home, saying thank you. We've got some of our culinary students there. And we're cooking. It's a great day. My boy H, it was his first year teaching. And so he's over there. He's all excited. Dude, we're killing this. We're doing it. You know, we just did surf and turf, whatever the kids wanted to do. It doesn't matter. Um, but like... Rocco Despirito's mentor was there. Uh, certified Master Baker Noble Massey was there. Arnold Solomon was there. Just 
badass motherfuckers. No other way to put it. Um, there's a refrigerator in the garage, and I took a six pack of beer. I had it packed up, and we were off hours. There may it, well, all right. There were kids working there because I just said that. Um, they're all in the house working. I said, all right, H, I'm going to go out to the garage for a minute. I go out, I grab a Coors Light, pound it. Now, I knew the people whose house we were at. It was actually my boss. Um, and she knew. She didn't care. Her husband was trying to give me some uh, Shebus all night. And I was like, no, no, no. I go, H, man, go outside, have a beer, you'll... You'll be good, right? I go out in the garage, can't find H. I go out in the driveway, no sign of H. I hear something on the side of the house. I go around the corner. Your boy's hiding around the side of the house drinking a beer so no one will see him. So <laughs> me being me, I take out my cell phone and I go to take a picture just to be a dick. And he's like, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? And uh, you can get me fired. That was his favorite line to say about me. You're gonna get me fired. Uh, so needless to say, he has no more beer because he's paranoid. We go back inside, we clean everything up. We go back to the school, drop everything off. And I'm like, dude, let's go to the flats. He goes, what's that? What? Oh. I go, dude, little taco joint around the corner. We'll just go down. We'll get a bucket of beers. He goes, I'm down. One of the kids heard me say that. Heard me say it. We go in, we get a table, we get a bucket of beers. We're just sitting there. All of a sudden, my phone rings, and it's a student. It's Nate Clayton Bishop. Uh, you guys may know Clayton. He's been on the podcast, Ruby Red Monroe. He uh, calls me up. He goes, hey, I heard you say you're going. My mom's going to drop me off. Will you take me home? <laughs> sure, dude, whatever. <laughs> right? That's awesome. So he comes in and sits down. Here's H. Ready? Okay, let me do it better. All right, beer bottle. Here's H. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He goes, dude, you're gonna get me fired. That's our student. I go, that's Clayton. His mom dropped him off and asked me if I could drive him home. She knows what we're doing. And he goes, no, no. I go, finally, Clayton goes, dude, it's okay. And he goes, he ordered a, what's the one they deep fry there? Chimichanga or something? No, yeah, that was a flautas. Very good, too. He, he got it. He gets it all wet and everything. He's sitting there eating. He goes, I'll drink your beer. I don't care. I'm like, I'm drinking my beer. All of a sudden, H is drinking a beer. Clayton texts Danny. In comes Danny. Sits down with us. Your boy's about to have a heart attack. We're in Tijuana Flats in the middle of our neighborhood where all these kids go to, they go to school. They all go there. We're sitting there with beers on the table. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey. With two students, the two students at our table. H is like, dude, dude, you're going to get me fired. You're going to get me fired. That was his big line. He always thinks I'm going to get him fired. He says, I'm his biggest liability, but his best asset. <laughs> Whether they're, whether they're seniors or students, I really can't partake with uh, with my residents either. <laughs> with, with what? I said, I can't, I can't drink with my residents either. So it doesn't matter how old they are. <laughs> you know, man, you're, <laughs> I got in trouble at your place too because I was trying to give Benny Jack Daniels. Yes, 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 yes. The, the two drink limit is actually in writing. I actually had to find that one day. I, that's why I no longer bartend at work. <laughs> really? <laughs> 100 two drink limit for guests two drinks what two per drinks. per walk up to the bar yeah, no, no. like i'll take two good <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's horrible I, th I thought someone was lying to me i had to look it up no that's in writing I'm like i can no longer bartend i can no you know, longer <laughs> to this day i i still remember benny man and that's that's like crazy and and you know, you and I have talked about this. It's got to be tough getting attached to those cats. And then, uh, you know, shit happens. Life happens. It you're, happens. I think I your director that. of facilities told me the average stays three years. Yep. But uh, 
I get to play in a hundredth birthday party this month. Marie, what are you making? Um, I, it's she mushy, wants mushy, whole... mushy peas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> such a dick. Such a dick, man. I'm going to hell. <laughs> um, she wants a home style chicken dinner. Yeah, uh, that that was that was her request. That is so, awesome. Um, but so I'm lo lo looking forward to that. And so, but I still can't believe that of all of the sliders I have made for my wife, your Buffalo Blue is her favorite. <laughs> it's that good. Did you have one? <laughs> oh yeah, no, they're good. They're good. They're good. But not your favorite. Uh, I like it. I like the um, smokehouse uh, barbecue with pepper jack cheese. So. But it was fun. It, it, it was fun showcasing like voodoo, like to my friends. Like they see me post the stuff all the time, and um, it actually finally showed up on my Facebook feed a year ago. I was still cooking with Southern Gold. A year ago, you were doing what? Cooking with Southern Gold. Oh, dude, Southern Gold's a shit too, though, bro. Oh yes, it is. But it, it was great just to share, like, no offense, you with them. You know. Well, like, that's very like, cool and. You know, I'm sorry I couldn't make your birthday party with the canned food drive in full effect. And I was out at the law offices collecting canned foods and just, uh, you know, doing what we do. Doing, you, go. you know, we got to we got to do what we can do to make a difference. And, you know, people like you help us do that. And, you know, but it keeps me out there. You know that. Yeah. But I wish yeah, I would have been cool. there because you had a shit ton of fucking food. Yes, yes. Until you until you enjoy your evening a little too much and realize that you put some food in the oven because you had to load the smoker a second time and you forget about the food in the oven. Oh, dude. That's no bueno, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. My wife found it tonight cooking pizzas for, uh, <laughs> for my granddaughter. <laughs> She's like, why does the house smell like barbecue still? And she opens up the oven door going, oh, that's why. Dude, that is too funny. Yes, yes. <laughs> we're we're going to have to teach Lex how, how to barbecue, man. You know, she, all she does is bake. Yes, yes, And make yes. rice and beans. <laughs> Am I right? No, I know how to cook other things. What's, what's the last savory dish you made? I made chicken stir fry. You're so lucky you didn't say rice and beans. <laughs> chicken stir fry. How many weeks did you spend in savory classes when you were baking pastry school? A month. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's it was bad. one class. It was... Was it with Vought? Yeah, it was with Vought. Fuck that. That guy's I a genius, was... but I'd be afraid to be in his class. Uh, he gets distracted. We were easily... It was easy to distract him. We would ask him a question about something else, and he would veer off, so it was kind of... Tell me, he's worse than Eric when it comes to getting distracted? Yeah, oh. like 10 times worse. Uh, wow. So I have, chicken, I have chicken pot pie coming up on my menu, so I can reach out to you for tips. Oh, dude, that's easy, man. That's easy. We make some jam chicken pot pie. I'll just send you our recipe. Yeah, so um, that's the stuff that I don't mess with. I don't bake. That's like a talent I do not have. <laughs> I learned how to make it at a uh, – I worked for like a – a Jewish diner type place. I don't know if you ever heard of Two J's. Uh, is it St. Pete? Uh, there might be one out there. Used to, it's, it's a big chain. I don't know. Uh, there used to be one at International Mall. There used to be one at Countryside Mall. There used to be one on Dale Mabry. I don't know what's here or what's not. I'm going to tell you right now, that was the most three, that was the most fun anybody could have for three months. We worked there for three months and it was just <laughs> fucking black. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking spooks in the house, but literally, literally this ain't got no pumpkin like last week, right? No. Yeah, a little Vente 3 Raw right there. Will you sleep tonight after that? <laughs> Dude, I'll be I will be out. I've got a I've got a radio spot at 10 o'clock and then I'm done. I'm gone. I'll be gone. But by 10:30, I'll be knocked out. Yep. But uh two J's was the was like the best three months of not having a job that I ever had because we did not work. We did nothing but get in trouble while we were there. I was, I was, I was 23, 24, uh, my second year of marriage. And uh, dude, it was just, it was, 
it was a shit show to say the least. But I learned a lot about cooking while I was there, including uh, that's where I learned how to make pot pie. There we go. So uh, we could definitely share that with you. Too easy, man. <laughs> Lex could make it. Probably. You make the top, I'll make the bottom. How about that? Okay, sounds fair. <laughs> hey, uh, good news and bad news, Carl. You know, we do have pointless pop culture trivia. Bad news is Sam's not here to kick for us for you to kick his ass. Oh, I have a chance to winning. Well, yeah, you have a chance to win. You always have a chance to win. Nah, but no. uh, but it's not it's it's not going to be as much fun unless you beat Sam because you know I made the mistake of telling him the other day, jokingly I said we went back and reviewed the tape and you're right you got that question right you won and the whole time I'm doing like this. And all he heard was he won, and he's like, I'm undefeated, I'm under." And we were just talking shit. <laughs> he goes on to win that night. So now he's going around telling everybody he's undefeated. He comes back in, and he's playing against Carlos, and they end in a tie, and he's happy about that. He's like, I'm still undefeated. Like, dude, you're way too excited about pointless pop culture trivia. The key word being pointless. <laughs> But, dude, we got some cool people uh, you might want to meet and uh, play in trivia tonight. We got some newbies. Uh, we're going to bring in first uh, my buddy, longtime buddy. I think I taught three of his four kids, uh, oh, my attorney, uh, Eric Moore. He should be popping up any minute. I'm going to bet we might have some problems with his connection because he's a newbie to us. Uh, really? Just, are you there? <laughs> What's up, E? Yeah, no, I'm here. You're a newbie to us. I didn't mean newbie to this. Yeah. We always have problems, dude. That's because, uh-oh, I you don't know the rules of pointless pop culture trivia. No, I don't know the rules. Are there rules? Yeah, there I've are rules. I've seen it, and there didn't appear to be any rules. Two so. rules. Two rules. There's rule number one. <laughs> Got to have a cocktail, man. Oh, ho, ho. What are you drinking tonight? I don't think I've seen you with brown. What is that? Yeah. No, it's not really a cocktail. <laughs> so I need a cocktail? <laughs> well. Yes, it is. It's a cocktail. It, there you go. It's, I was going to say you could have some of mine. What do you have? Really? Jack? Really? Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's not going to last. Um, we got Hornitos too. We're still we're still nursing a bottle of Hornitos, but uh, Erica, throw out yeah. all your social media real quick. I was telling everybody how how you know I think I, I think it was three of your kids I taught, but I know them all. They're just you're an amazing family. More importantly, uh, you're a solid cat, and I'm I'm glad to have you around and taking care of me and all the things you do for us legally. Uh, once we get the bylaws finally wrapped up and done, which have been going on for six years. Uh, you are the official attorney of uh, Voodoo Chef Foundation. With We just got the new bylaws changes that are going through. Um, but uh, where can everybody find you before we get into pointless pop culture? Yeah, no, I've, my website is morelawfla.com. So you can find me there. And on Facebook, what's my Facebook address? <laughs> Elizabeth might not be nearby. <clears throat> She can come in the screen. She can come in the screen. Oh yeah. Yeah. There she is. Hi. What's up, girl? How you so, been? There's Good. one of those I'm children. At dad. Laughing at your dad. <laughs> your dad's gonna kick ass and win pointless pop culture trivia. He's been quizzing himself, right. let me tell you. <laughs> is he, there's no way. There's no way he could have practiced for the inane BS that's about to take place. No. We've been watching some of the other videos. <laughs> well, you might have a better shot than him, so stick around and feed, well, do or don't feed him some answers from the sideline. <laughs> but, uh, okay. all right, so just, he won't say it. I'll use my line. Just, yeah. you know, if you're looking for me, GMA. GMA. Don't say yeah, Google my ass. So, 
I walked you into that one. Um, there you go. Hey, no. check him out. Uh, his links are going to be on our site within a couple weeks. Um, Moore Law, he's on Bush Boulevard, West Bush Boulevard, not East Bush Boulevard. That's a save a lot. So make sure you jump down, find him online, follow him on Facebook, and uh, whatever you need. If he can't take care of you, he'll, he'll point you in the right direction. But uh, we got to bring in our next competitor, too, uh, Mr. Art Zavala. Uh, Art is the, the brainchild behind 813 Tequila. And I met Art. Art, you're going to have to turn your uh, video on there. I met Art uh, a couple weeks ago. And, you know, we were just having a howdy-do, getting together, trying to feel each other out and see how we can mutually benefit. And we're sitting in a Panera over what I thought was going to be a cup of coffee. Next thing you know, there's like five bottles of tequila on the table. I'm over getting souffle cups from the cooks at Panera. And we're tasting all these tequilas right inside Panera. Um, sample sizes, which is one eighth of a shot. It's not like we were drinking and in, uh, in, uh, selling alcohol. We were just sampling the prod. No, legit. No, that's, that's a true statement because... Uh, we got to watch these le legalities and laws. We would never, uh, never, ever do anything to break those alcohol laws because those are no play play. But uh, 813, I do got to tell you. It is, so, that's, why, that's why I'm covering my ass, dude. Come on, quit doing this. Um, but I got to tell you, all right, what's going on, buddy? First and foremost, man, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you for having me, Eric. So, uh, the, the tequila is like super duper smooth and we're looking at them back there behind you. I think it, I like the first bottle and I like the third bottle from left to right. Um, the fourth bottle I didn't taste yet. That's later. The one in the middle, it, it's great tequila, but the, the first and the third were my faves. So Tell us about the product the though, man. Yeah, so that's the Blanco is, is the, the first one that he liked. Uh, and then we have a Reposado that's about three to six months aged. And then it goes to Añejo, which is 14 to six months uh, aged. And then we have a, a Blanco 100, which is 100 proof, now, which he didn't want to taste. <laughs> right, I didn't want to taste because we were driving and we were just doing sample taste. But uh, it was before dinner and... You know, we, we're not going to play with that. Not ever going to play with drinking and driving. Not a thing. That's, that's no bueno. It's not cool. But, uh, hey, tell us about uh, the product. So, uh, you know, it is a tequila. It's 100% blue agave tequila. Um, if I don't say Jalisco and I say Jalisco, my buddy's going to just be a jerk. Um, but it, it is brought in from Jalisco. You have a farm down there. You're producing this tequila. And it's 813, it's Tampa Bay, man. Why don't we want to support that? Right, it's 813, we're saying uh, born in Mexico, raised in Tampa. Um, and uh, we, of course, we, COVID's hitting us like everyone else. Uh, we, our first uh, 1,500 bottles arrived the first week of March, and then we all know what happened after that. So uh, <laughs> You sat on us. Our, yeah, so we're doing our best to try to get, get out there, get the, uh, restaurants, bars to taste uh, our tequila. We're, we're getting out there to see if uh, liquor stores can start to sell it uh, for us. So uh, it's, uh, we're doing our best, but it's, like uh, Eric said, the tequila smooth. I'm, I'm not saying that just because I'm, I'm a partner. Um, I was, although I'm Mexican, I was not a tequila drinker. I am now. <laughs> and uh, I've learned a lot about tequila over the last couple of years. You know, I I'm a tequila drinker, and it's really, really good tequila. And uh, if you're out there and you want to try it, um, you could pick. I know Sochio has it down in uh, uh, Armature area. Sochio sells your tequila. Um, where else can we get it? I mean, you what can get it at. Uh, we have it at um, District Cavern down by uh, Channel Side. We have it at. Um, at a couple different places in Riverview, uh, uh, Grand 60. Uh, we also have it in um, Channel Side. It's called, uh, now you got me uh, thinking about. <laughs> hey, here's the easiest way. If you walk <laughs> yeah. in, ask for it by name. If they yeah. don't have it, 
tell them you want it. Tell them you want yeah, it so yeah. they'll bring it in and get it for you. It is yeah, that damn fine. good. I'm, and Art, I just got to tell you, I'm sitting here saying it's that damn good as I'm drinking some brown. Uh, we might have to fix that, old man. Yeah, we will. But, next time, next time. Hopefully, they'll be able to taste it at the golf tournament. We're talking about that. We're yeah. trying to get through that. And uh, we'll figure all those deets out. So uh, we'll see. Now, I do got to warn you, I don't see anything in your hands. Two rules to pointless pop culture trivia. Rule number one, no cheating. Rule number two, must have a cocktail. Uh, so uh, let's get ready to rock and roll here. Look, they're taking it so serious. They're like, I'm not drinking. I want to win. <laughs> so uh, with Big Eddie C out, I do got to tell you, Alexis is, is the keeper of trivia. She will uh, tell us who, who rang in first. And she has the final say, right or wrong. Um, okay. She will be the scorekeeper because numbers and me, we don't get along. Unless, of course, we're talking dead presidents, we can keep track of those. Um, so here's how it works. I will read a question. If you think you know the answer, you simply shout out your name. Your name. We had somebody, like, trying to ring a buzzer. We had somebody else forgot their name. I'm like... <laughs> it's a drink, not all the drinks. So uh, if you think you know the answer, simply shout out your name. Alexis will call on you. You will answer, and she will let us know if you're right or wrong. Too easy? Perfect. Simple. And, and just so you know, tonight's, <laughs> tonight's winner, your name will be entered into a drawing, and you will become eligible to win the chance to be selected to be the winner of a prize that will be named at a later date. So, good luck. Question number one. Adele celebrated her birthday with a rare social media snap. That means Snapchat. <laughs> what age did she turn? Hey, Eric. Oh, oh. <laughs> 40. <laughs> Eric Moore says 40. Lex, are you taking oh. care of this or no? Because <laughs> once I start having a couple sips, I'm not going to be taking care of this. <laughs> and 40 is incorrect. Does anybody else have an answer? Art. Art. 30. Ooh, close, but no cigarro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 35. Alexis, are you playing here or what? I don't remember the answers. You have the cheat sheet. <laughs> it's in my phone, and I'm on my phone. <laughs> you know, one time I used the flashlight on my phone to look for my phone in my car for about 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> Carl, you are incorrect. The correct answer is 32. 32. You got that wrong, Lizzie. All right, question. I was saying 32. <laughs> <laughs> pull, the, pull the string in his back. <laughs> question number two. Saved by the Bell has recently confirmed a reboot. Oh. But can you name all six original cast members? Oh. Just so you know, the answer is, yes, I can. <laughs> Dude, so you said, you, so said Eric, you were going to look it no. up. What's that? The answer is no. You said you were going to look it up. <laughs> Eric Your question says, was, can I name all six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think that's a win. The answer is no. And you know what? That is a true answer. I think we might have to award you a point. The damn yes. lawyer finding the yep. loopholes. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He it's found it. It's that fine print. It's that fine print. Yeah, he found it. <laughs> he technically didn't say his name, so we can't count it. Let's jump in. Screech. Our, Mario no. Lopez, can no one get that one? All right, the <laughs> names are Zach Morris, Kelly Kapowski, Lisa Turtle, A.C. Slater, Screech Powers, and Jesse Spano. What's funny is I go to the food drive at Eric's place, and he's like, what have you been doing? I go, I was watching Saved by the Bell this morning. <laughs> That's right. 
I go, don't be surprised if you see some some trivia questions about it. <laughs> you need to get that one. <laughs> Question number three. What does the acronym YOLO stand for? Carl. Oh. You're in, Carl. Alexis, you, you might as well play one. trivia too. Uh, <laughs> you only live once. Live one. You are correct. You are correct. I'm, I need glasses. <laughs> Question number four. Which streaming service announced this week that they would be adding season one and two of Keeping Up with the Kardashians to their site? You guys missed the part, part about pointless pop culture trivia. There's no legal Carl. question. <laughs> Carl, you're in. Hulu. Not Hulu. Art. Art, you're in. Netflix. It is Netflix. It is yeah. Netflix. Lexus, I hope you're keeping score because <laughs> I, I have no, no clue. But again, it, it, is, it is pointless. There will be no baseball questions, no law questions, pointless pop culture trivia. Pop culture means we need to know about people who without stupid shit would be nobodies. Um, <laughs> which online platform launched first? YouTube, MySpace, Google, Yahoo, or Facebook? Art. Art, you're in. MySpace. Oh, MySpace was a great guess. Would have been mine too. Carl. But I would have been wrong too. Carl, you're in. Yahoo. Yahoo is correct, sir. Lex, what are the scores? Carl is winning. <laughs> Two That's Carl, it? one art. Oh, and half for the lawyer. Thank you. <laughs> for the loophole. That's why he's that's why he's on our side, guys. He finds those loopholes. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is no. That, dude, that was awesome. That's right. <laughs> Question number seven. And just so you know, there's only 42 of these. So, you know. <laughs> Question number seven. What is Eleven's real name in Stranger Things? Come on, Liz. Carl's Go ahead. Googling Art, it. are you in? Was that you? <laughs> no, Carl's Googling it. <laughs> Carl, are you? Carl. <laughs> Carl, man, come on. Come on. We're supposed to be running an up and up operation here. <laughs> Eric, do you have the answer? Got Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. You're not right. But uh, how the hell did you come up with that? That's her real name. That's the, the actress name. That was the Google. Alexis, did you say that? That was her real name? Or was That's that her real name? Not her like Stranger Things name, but her real name. What's her stranger names? Stranger name danger thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch that show. Me Jane. either. Hi. Did you say it? the answers? I said Jane. You are correct, sir. It is Jane. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Tell Lizzie she gets a point. <laughs> can you finish this sentence I want to forgive you and what the answer is not no <laughs> Carl Carl you're in but I'll never forget oh you are so close sir but I'm afraid we need it exact we are playing Jeopardy rules Except you don't have to answer in the form of a question. Oh. <laughs> Any other guesses? The Eric. correct Eric, what's uh, up? But I want to free wait, what's the question? <laughs> wait, what's the answer again, Lizzie? <laughs> Lizzie, are you no, no good one. But I want to forget you. You are correct, sir. You are correct. No Googling. There was no Googling there. I mean, we have to limit our realms of cheating. Yes. And I don't want to have to refer to my attorney for for some, you know, judgment on these things and have it be you we're judging against. I mean, Sam Creighton would be pissed if he was here right now. Oh, he'd be losing his mind. 
Alexis is in charge of this anyhow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Alexis, what's the score? Two Carl, two Eric, one Art. There we go. Oh, Art. We oh. should have given them bottles of tequila. They wouldn't have been able to compete. I know. I shot a, I shot a question. Question Ooh. number Ooh. nine. <laughs> question number nine. What are the names of Beyonce and Jay-Z's twins? <laughs> Crickets is the wrong answer, because that's all we yeah, hear. Yeah. The correct none. answer is Rumi and Sir. Did you say Rumi? What? Rumi, R-U-M-I. Not like not like R O O M Y. It's rather roomy. Yeah. And <laughs> all kinds of jokes for that. But we're just gonna let that go. We'll move on to question number ten. <laughs> Name the two performers who headlined the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show. Carl. Carl's in. Shakira and Jennifer Lopez. You are correct, sir. Yep. You are correct, sir. Who is the better performer, Carl? Ooh, Longevity Lopez. Yeah. Art, you said the same thing, J-Lo? Yeah, J-Lo. Eric? Yeah, J-Lo. Lex? J-Lo. Siri, I'm the only Shakira fan here. Shakira, Shakira. I thought Shakira, <laughs> I thought Shakira was better. Tell us what you think or don't, because we really don't care. <laughs> All right, question number 11. Ashton Kutcher is known for his acting, but he was also the host of what MTV show? Art. Art, you're in. Punk. It is correct, punk. Punk was the show. Lex, you gotta give us some score updates. Carl three, Eric two, Art two. Were those Ooh, that was such yeah. confident. She's right. <laughs> hmm? That's right. Eric, you forgot Eric's half point. Oh, yeah, two and a half. <laughs> you know, we might have to award him like three points because the sarcasm of that was just off the <laughs> chart. All right, our final uh, final 37 questions. Um, final four questions. What is Lady Gaga's real name? And you know what, with the, with the wins we're having here, I'll take just her first name. It's not Christina Aguilera. <laughs> that's, that's false. That conspiracy theory was not true. I know. Liz has an answer. Liz, what's the answer? It's Stephanie Giramata. <laughs> did you Google that or did you know that? No, I knew that. I have lots of reference pop <laughs> culture. You are correct. And we now have a late late uh, entry into the game who could take over and win. Uh, Lex, we need to add a competitor here. Lizzie Moore is now in. Uh, welcome Liz, to the podcast, Miss Elizabeth Moore. I... <laughs> you didn't get me any answers. Uh, welcome to the podcast, that. my friend. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi. Uh, congratulations on getting into Barry Law School. Super, super amazing. Thank you. I was doing homework while my dad was phoning his friend in. <laughs> <laughs> phoning a friend. All right, so here we go. Question number 13. Uh, number 13. How many times has Kim Kardashian been married? Carl. Hart. Carl, you're in. Art, you're second. Three. You are correct. Three times. For the bonus, name the three people or say who really gives a shit. No, really gives a shit. <laughs> True statement there. True statement there. If you had if you had a lineup of like five people, I don't think I could tell you which one was Kim Kardashian. Connie Lewis, Nick Humphries, and Reggie Bush. Question. <laughs> Number 14. Oh, really? She's yeah. over there naming all three. I heard her. Yeah. Question did. number 14. 
Who starred alongside Paris Hilton in the reality TV series, The Simple Life? Lizzie. Art. Oh, Lizzie's in. Art, you're second. Nicole Richie. Nicole Richie is Nicole correct. Richie. Did you know that one, Art? Yes, I did. <laughs> you're drinking too much tequila. It's slowing down those reflexes. <laughs> All right, Lex, we need a score update. Carl, four. Eric, two and a half. Lizzie, two. Art, two. Eric, you shouldn't have brought her in the game. You should have kept her as co-counsel. You would have been ahead. Oh, it's good. You would have won. <laughs> you would have been ahead. Nobody could have caught you. And I could have gotten the prize. I know. You could have been entered into a drawing to have the opportunity to be selected to win a prize to be named at a later date. <laughs> wow. Dude, the sacrifices you give for your children, man, that's amazing. <laughs> you're Question. trying to be honest, I'll give him that. I've been saying them. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Lizzie's got this one in the bag. Question number 15. Finish the sentence. On Wednesday, we... Lizzie. Lizzie, what is it? We wear pink. Yes, we do. Art, do you know a movie that's what? from? <laughs> no. Lizzie. Carl, do you know a movie that's from? Legally Blonde. Oh, that was a great guess, but she wore pink every day. Not that I've seen that movie. <laughs> or part two. Um, and anticipating part three. Or went to see the stage play. Um, no, that is from the movie Mean Girls. Uh, Not that I've seen uh, that movie either. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, the winner of Pointless Pop Culture tri Trivia is who, Alexis? Carl. Oh. Carl, you are a winner. If Sam was only in the room, you could rub it in. <laughs> if Sam were only here to, to witness the spectacle. Hey, uh, guys, I appreciate you guys coming in, having fun with us. Uh, you know, the, the attorney's going to get mad here, but we've got co-counsel to back it up. Um, you know, we appreciate everybody coming into the podcast. I appreciate you guys coming in, having fun with us, playing around. Please check out these guys. Check out 813. Check out More Law. Check out Carl over at Atria. Don't go visit him. He deals with a special population. We don't want to run any risk of COVID. But uh, follow him on Facebook. Carl, what's your Facebook? Uh, <laughs> you better on Graham. No, no. Carl Miller. One better zero on three the Insta. Five. Carl Miller. 10355. One zero three five five. Check them out. Put some some amazing food. Go see Alexis at at Alessi Bakery. Make sure you ask for the hummingbirds. And uh, as always, if uh, we offended anybody, I'd love to say I'm sorry, but I'm not. Listen to somebody else. See you guys. See you. You guys. Dude, you guys are rock stars. Thanks so much. Thanks. We'll, we'll see. There you have it, booties. Another episode of the Voodoo Chef podcast. Let's give a big shout out to everyone involved with Voodoo Chef and all things voodoo, starting with Wustoff Knives, the official knife of the Voodoo Chef. And jamming up and down the streets of all Ybor City and Tampa Bay, Ragged Old Souls. Thanks for letting me jam with you guys. And when those amps are cranking, the turntables are definitely spinning, thanks to the official DJ of the Voodoo Chef, DJ Don Pablo. Check him out spinning all across town, most importantly, at all Voodoo Chef events. Speaking of events, getting ready for yours? Check out Voodoo Chef Catering, custom-created events for every shape and size. Log on to VoodooChefCatering.com to get your information today. A great big shout-out to all my booties that are in the Voodoo crew. Thank you for your support. And, of course, we could not do what we do in the crew without all of our crew sponsors. First Watch, Chef Shane Shibley, thank you for believing in our mission. And of course, we can't forget Voodoo Mortgage. For all your mortgage needs, check them out at VoodooMortgage.com. Alessi Bakery, a Tampa staple. Drop in and check them out today. And our newest sponsor, Twisted South Food Truck. Chef Adam Jessup, thank you for what you do. And of course, all things voodoo are in support of the Voodoo Chef Foundation, providing culinary scholarship and feeding those in need. 
To find out more information or make a donation yourself, log on to VoodooChefFoundation.com today.